Ladies, gentlemen, distinguished guests, welcome to the global launch of the new Tag Heuer Connected. We're coming to you live from Paris, the home of the Tag Heuer Connected team. We also have a lucky few who are joining us as our studio audience. This being a connected event, we've also gone seriously meta, beaming to over 40 countries live, and a warm, unmuted welcome to our Tag Heuer digital community out there through the screens. Now, a man who is the driving force behind the brand, CEO of Tag Heuer, Mr. Frédéric Arnaud. Hello, Jonathan. Hello, good to see you, Frédéric. So, Frédéric, tell us, why are we here today? So, first of all, um, welcome to our view. Thank you very much for connecting uh, digitally for this uh, presentation. And uh, thank you for our distinguished guests that could make it uh, all the way to the studio in spite of traffic uh, in Paris. And uh, I'm very excited and proud uh, to be here today to present our latest uh, version of the Connected Watch. The previous launches were all in uh, New York, and you might expect uh, us to launch it in New York as well, due to our link and historic link with uh, the United States. However, things have changed and evolved since, and uh, mainly we built uh, an industry-leading Connected Watch team here in Paris, and it's here that the watch is being designed, engineered, thought, uh, in collaboration, of course, with uh, our historic uh, team in, uh, in, in La chaux de -Fonds. And so it made sense. There's a few of our uh, talented uh, uh, digital team present here today that we, we, we were here at the heart of where everything is done. Fantastic. And the reveal, that is why we're all here. But why is Tag Heuer, a luxury watchmaker, developing a connected watch? Well, it makes a lot of sense uh, linked with our purpose. We fuel your drive to challenge the limits. And here, it's us challenging the limits, challenging the limits of design, challenging the limits of technology. TAG, as you all know, stands for Technique d'avant-garde, avant-garde in the artistic world, avant-garde uh, in the innovation world. On the industry, since the beginning in 2015, we knew that the smartwatch, the connected watch, was going to be a re revolution that would change people's lives and habits. We also know that uh, watches is a very personal object, where there's a lot of craftsmanship, where design is extremely important, there's a lot of emotion. It's a very personal object that represents one's identity, uh, many values associated with it. People, our customers today, wouldn't want to compromise on the emotion they have wearing a watch, uh, still having all the benefits and features that you can expect from a, from a smart watch. And this was the vision since the beginning. Uh, and uh, we've improved uh, since the first generations based on this vision. Fantastic. So that dates back to 2015. Fast forward now, we're here in 2022. Um, talk us through a bit more about that evolution and Tag Heuer connected watch. A little bit more would be great. Yes. As you cannot expect in a, a watch event, we, all, we often talk about uh, history and heritage uh, and look back to uh, the great designs, the great icons. And now is the time when we can start doing that on the Connected Watch. The Connected Watch has been present since 2015. We're launching the fourth generation. Since the beginning, there was the vision of merging design, creativity, with cutting-edge technology. And we've improved uh, generation after generation on the watchmaking feeling to make it closer and closer to uh, a true watch, be it on the case, be it on the, the watch faces. And in 2020, we also enlarged the vision, adding two new pillars that are a critical key and also very much linked with uh, the brands. Sports with uh, leading golf experience, running, cycling, swimming, and of course, health and fitness as a, as a tracker. So what was your driving force, Frederic, behind this new generation of, uh, of Tag Heuer Connected? I think now we're all expecting uh, the reveal. And if I can say just a few words, there's four main pillars uh, that drives us since the beginning and that will drive us uh, in the future on this category. Uh, cutting edge design, creativity, uh, and that can be in the physical space, in the digital space, and we'll see amazing watch faces where there's a lot of actually digital craftsmanship that goes uh, behind it. Uh, also, the best technology, huge improvements uh, on the, the, the connectivity, on the, on the battery, uh, sports, and we have sports we've already uh, been developing, and now we're gonna come with a revolutionary experience in one sport in particular, uh, little teasing. And uh, 
last um, but not least, health and fitness as a tracker for daily activities where one can improve its lifestyle. So without further ado, I think uh, we can leave the, the video talk by itself. Let's have a, let's have a look. Wow, okay. Welcome to the Tag Heuer Connected Caliber E4. Fantastic. So this is a new era and a new name for your smartwatch, Federic. Yes. I'm always impressed when I see this video with all the details that go in, in, uh, in this product. I'm not going to talk about them uh, precisely, and you'll have the chance to have the team that worked on it directly speaking about uh, all the evolution and innovation that come with this watch. If I can just give a word on the name, Connected is still the name of the collection. We added the, the generation, Caliber E4, and uh, it's also linking it very well with uh, our heritage in watchmaking and where we come from. So I'm going to leave the floor now to uh, Maria and Teddy, who will uh, walk to uh, more details on the product. Fantastic. Thank you, Frédéric. Hi, guys. Hello. Thank you, Frédéric. Hi, Teddy. Hi, Maria. How are you doing? Hello. Very good to have you here with us today. Likewise. Very exciting. Um, OK, Teddy, let's get to you first. Tell us, who are the Connected Caliber E customers, please? Thank you, Jonathan. Glad to be here. So since the first version of the Connected Watch, we had detected three types of categories of customers. The first one are the elegant connected. These are the people with a strong appetite for elegance and style and willing to stay connected to their busy life. 50% of our customers are elegant connected. The health and wellness are the second categories, health and wellness users. Those are the ones willing to track their steps, calories, heart rate, for example. More than 60% of our customers are, are using wellness daily. With the pandemic, it has become and even an increasing uh, interest. The sport enthusiasts are the third categories. These are the golfers, runners, cyclists, swimmers. And for example, one customer out of five is a golf enthusiast. We are delighted about that, and we have a couple of news for the, the golfers uh, coming soon. Now, our customers are highly engaged with the watch, and they confirm it with multiple points. 85% of them are active monthly on the watch, this is amazing. They love our products, as they are ranking it with an outstanding 4.8 stars and 4.6 stars on the app stores. And they praise our most iconic watches, the Golf Edition, as you know, and the Black Titanium in particular. This is important for us, because an engaged customer base is a high indicator of customer satisfaction. Fantastic. Some great insights there. Teddy, um, so what are the novelties are you bringing on the connected Caliber E4 for us today? Actually, a, a ton of them. <laughs> so to answer the, the, the needs of those three customer profiles, the Elegant Connected, the Health and Wellness users, and the Sport users, we are thrilled to announce today one new design, one new size. So we are introducing the 42 millimeter in addition to the 45. New technologies, battery, charger, connectivity, new fitness programs, and a whole set of new exciting uh, watch faces. Fantastic, and we'll get more into that a bit later. Um, Maria, so let's now talk more about the watchmaking heritage about these connected watches, yes, please. Yes, it's yeah. pleasure, pleasure, Jonathan. Yes, Tagoyer is 160 years of high-end watchmaking heritage. And TAG stands for Technique d'Avant-Garde, meaning that we are forward-looking and we never stop innovating. That's why in 2015, we entered this 
luxury connected watch segment as a pioneer. And since then, the Tagoyer Connected has established itself as the world leader in luxury smartwatches. And this collection has become a strong pillar within our portfolio, just like our Aquarisseur or the Tagoyer Carrera. And as you may know, we have an in-house design team. And this is the same team who is working on our mechanical watches and on the physical design of our connected watches. So same passion, same attention to details, same heritage inspiration, same thrill for innovation and creativity. Fantastic. So what are the most important changes in comparison to the previous generation, Maria? Yeah, since 2015, we keep improving the design, leveraging our watchmaking codes. So th this strong DNA of our mechanical watches is expressed in all the components of our connected watch. <clears throat> so in this new generation, watchmaking is omnipresent. <laughs> and then the second point, an important point, is the ergonomy. We improved a lot the ergonomy. The watch is easier to use, and it is more intuitive. So if we look at the watch itself, as you can see here on the screen, we, we worked the shape of the case. We have more elongated lugs, and we have a polished bevel to improve the slim profile. We paid also great attention to the finishes. So we alternate between brushed and polished surfaces in order, in order to uh, capture and to play with the light and magnify the case of the shape. And even the case back, you know, the case back is engineered with watchmaking uh, expertise and the finishes echoes the case. So if we look at the 45 millimeter, so this, this one is more sporty, uh, for sporty usage also. That's why we have a bigger diameter for the crown and it is surrounded with rubber, so it improves the grip. We have also a ceramic bezel, and you know that ceramic is a high resistant material that we use on our most iconic mechanical watches. Then for the 42 millimeter, so this is our new size. Uh, for this new size, the design is sleeker, and the main difference is, difference is the glass box meaning that the, the, the silver timer is integrated, so we have no physical bezel on top of the glass. So it, it gives really this elegant and refined look. And finally, uh, we developed also new straps. All the straps are interchangeable, and uh, the latest novelty is a laser. So meaning that the users uh, will uh, opt for laser, steel, are colorful rubber straps. Fantastic. Faster, more intuitive, design innovation. I mean, congratulations, guys. Uh, the Connector Caliber E4 is taking it up a notch on all levels. Really very exciting. Teddy, now, can we get into the tech, please? Of course. So we are coming with three main areas of technology boost on the Caliber E3 versus Caliber, uh, Caliber E4 versus Caliber E3. Battery life, charger, and connectivity. On the battery side, we detected an intensive use of more sports, golf, running, cycling even, which make a need for a bigger battery uh, more important. So we came up with a 30% longer battery on the new 45 millimeter versus previous generation. 30%, 30 this is amazing. Now, with your 45 millimeter, user can enjoy a full day of battery life with normal usage and five hours of golfing. This is an equivalent of 18 holes. Fantastic, 30%, that's a very big difference. Um, so, talk to me about the charger. So that's my favorite. We wanted to, came up, to come up with a charging routine which is totally seamless for our users. So now, when they come back home, they just put the watch on the stand, very luxurious stand, which happens to be a charger, and they, they can de therefore transparently charge the watch. While standing nicely and elegantly, on the living room or on the bedroom table. During the night, it becomes a nightstand, which stays lit with discrete brightness and displaying the time. With that, we wanted to create a luxury experience for our users. 
Fantastic. So no more sort of scrambling around in the dark and hitting the snooze button for me. That's, exactly. That's exciting. Uh, connectivity. Now, I know this is a really hot topic uh, in regards to smartwatches. What have you done about it? So connectivity is key. And the reason is the, the watch and the phone are companion from one another. So we wanted to ensure that our customers can appreciate fast transfers between the phone and the watch while downloading their contacts, while doing the pairing, while downloading the golf course maps, and many more. So we implemented the new Bluetooth 5.0 technology in the watch to offer a fast transfer twice the speed as before. Wow, OK, there's a lot going on. But I know you have a little bit more for me, Teddy. Come on. Absolutely. The screen. The screen is breathtaking and amazing, really. So if you just pictures is worth a thousand words. So let's just take a look at the short video. So these screens offer industry-leading quality and contrast, particularly outdoors. It enables our watch faces, our notifications, our spot metrics to stand out, highly contrasted, as you can tell, even outside in strong sunlight. It also comes with a strong contrast ratio, high-fidelity color reproduction, which means that our watch faces are displayed with the exact precision and accuracy of colors that they were intended by our designers when they created it. We know how artistic intent is important, so that's why we put a, a particular attention to having a screen that reveals the image that our artists have been doing so much. And no matter what the lighting conditions are, this seems important, and I'm sure our customers will love it. Fantastic. Teddy, Maria, thank you so much for all those insights, and congratulations on a truly stunning new watch. Um, thank you. Thank you. You guys leave the stage, give them a clap, absolutely. And let's welcome Guillaume, our software product director from the Connected team. What I love about the design, Guillaume, is the elegance that goes way beyond, as we know, the physical space and right into the digital world. And this is all what you're about. And what the Tag Heuer Connected has always been known for are the different watch faces, of course, that are so refined and pushing the limits in terms of design. Guillaume, can you give us a bit more insight into those watch faces and the design process, please? Yes, thank you so much, Jonathan. Uh, I'm thrilled to be here to really share with you a bit of the insight on how we create our own product here at Tag Heuer. So we craft all our watch faces with relentless attention to all the details. We always start with pen and paper, and we really look at materials, colors, texture, and once we have a design, we work with our engineers, and we build it in the digital world, and then we use multiple iteration with our designers to really create something that is unique. For this new generation, we curated a selection of watch faces that is blending the traditional savoir-faire and also the avant-garde design that we talked about before. And it's really unique to bring these two aspects together to create something that has never seen before. So from watch faces that are based on our heritage alongside trend settings models which offer artistic animation, as well as all the information that our user cares about. OK, fantastic. Let's see some of those exciting new designs, please, Guillaume. Yeah, I'm so happy to reveal to you guys today the um, new um, watch face that we call Riverside. So this watch face is actually uh, animated with a futuristic and immersive uh, effect that is representing the time elapsing. So every time you look at the watch, the background is changing randomly, and it creates a new piece of art on your wrist. Wow, highly, highly desirable, fantastic. But what about a different mood? Yeah, so um, with our previous generation, Caliber E3, we had introduced um, the, uh, a watch face that was called Orbital. But on this new generation, we knew that wellness was really important. So that's why we really wanted to focus on what our users want to consume every day. It's super important nowadays to know your steps and calories and stay active, especially in the pandemic. So with this watch face, front and center, you can see your steps, calories, and you can also customize, as you can see in the background, with the different colors that match the straps. Fantastic. So we have desirability, we have wellness, but what about something a bit more bespoke for me? 
Yeah, for sure. So as I mentioned just before, we have this orbital watch phase that we introduced previously, and it's really hypnotizing because it's a constellation that is continuously moving in the background. And I'm going to tell you a little secret. So if you look closely at the edge of the screen, you will see that there is a small constellation that is moving, and it's actually representing the, the second that is elapsing uh, during the, the time. And with this new generation, what we did is we added some complication. So now you can add your daily steps and, your daily steps and calories, uh, your meeting information, and also uh, the next five hour weather forecast. Okay, well as a Brit, I mean, I can't get enough information about the weather, so this is ideal for me. Uh, what about heritage now? Yeah, so um, heritage is at the center of our culture at Tiger Year. And the year 02 watch face is the most popular on our current caliber E3 generation. For this new generation, we totally redesigned it to give it a more modern look. And now our users can explore uh, our 160 years of expertise in fine watchmaking and sport timers with mechanical complications such as the, the classical chronograph, the steps and calories, the next 12 hours uh, weather forecast, or the sunset sunrise. Fantastic. So it's a near unlimited choice in exactly. design. That's, that's really exciting. Um, Gim, we've touched on sports just really quickly, but maybe you can just, I know that's a key pillar for Tag Heuer uh, in the DNA, but maybe you can uh, tell us a bit more about the Tag Heuer sport app, please. Yeah, so innovation, uh, precision and passion are really the heart and soul of the Tag Heuer sport app. It's really what we do. We really want to feel the drive of our users to challenge the limits. So last year, we introduced indoor running and swimming. Our swimming experience is unique in a way that we use machine learning to automatically recognize your swim type and count the laps. And as we mentioned before, we love golf at Tagerier. And when you start working at Tagerier, you need to play golf. So it's, uh, it's really important for us, and our golf app is industry leading with over 40,000 golf courses mapped in 3D with shot tracking, with scoring, and with club recommendation. And stay tuned for all the golfers out there because we will have some new announcements shortly that will be coming and you will be really excited. Wow, so some hope for my terrible swing yet. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's <laughs> exactly. good news. So we know for our users that every minute counts and the pandemic has made it harder than ever before to work out. Based on the seven minute uh, scientific workout that has been proven to increase fitness and procure major health benefit, we crafted short and playful programs that you can see on the screen right now. And on-screen prompt are guiding our users through these exercises uh, with beautiful animation. To create this animation, we recorded professional uh, coaches with motion capture, and we created ultra precise and high contrast avatars that really help our users to stay fit on the go. So for users who might already have their own workout like you, Jonathan, they can obviously add them up in the watch and they will see uh, the repetition and the timer on the watch. Uh, right, a PT avatar on my wrist. It's beautiful, uh, no excuses, no place to hide. It's so slightly terrifying, but really, really exciting. Um, so I understand that some of the Tag Heuer ambassadors have actually programmed some of the work workouts for the watch, right? Yeah, it was so exciting for us that we had the opportunity to work with a renowned athletes that are part of the Tag Heuer family. So now uh, with the new watch, our users will be able to train like Naomi Osaka uh, or Jimmy Butler or Max Verstappen. Fantastic. Guillaume, thank you so much. It's been really insightful, really, really, really exciting. Let's please welcome back <laughs> Frederic. Wow, there's a lot to take in there. It's all really, really exciting. Congratulations to the whole team. It's in incredible insights and, and a great, great new launch. Um, I'm almost speechless, Frederic, as you know. But before we wrap up, I know there's one very special thing that you'd like to talk about, the campaign. Yes, before I talk about the campaign, first I want to uh, say a big congratulations to the team that have been working uh, tirelessly for a um, few years on this, on this project and are continuing to refine the experience and will bring uh, more uh, very exciting uh, novelties in the, the months and, uh, and years to come. And to represent such an exciting product, we had to come with also a groundbreaking uh, campaign. And who best to represent this watch than uh, Naomi Osaka, a uh, world-class athlete and also a uh, uh, fashion icon, and uh, Sydney McLaughlin, who's uh, 
um, gold, Olympic gold uh, medalist, and represent very well the duality that's inherent with this product. It's about um, lifestyle, design, creativity, uh, fashion, and also uh, ultra performance. And uh, uh, we needed also to represent uh, the, the, the setting that shows this duality. And we're also proud to introduce, uh, for the Squid Game fans out there, a new ambassador that uh, will represent also this watch, uh, We Are June, um, that we are seeing for the first time with Tag Heuer. Fantastic, what an incredible campaign and all change makers and leaders driving change forward in their respective industries. Really, really exciting. Okay, so now we're gonna try and put you a bit on the spot, Frederic. We're gonna take a few questions, I think, from, have been sent in from our digital audience out there. So, you ready? Let's go for it. Okay, uh, first question, here we go. Good one. Will Tag Heuer be developing any NFTs soon? Okay, I was expecting this question. <laughs> Seeing how hard a topic is it right now, I wasn't necessarily expecting it as the first one. I can see it's really top of mind for, for people. Well, as you can imagine, Tag Heuer, <coughs> Technique d'Avant-Garde, presents heavily in the innovation, the digital space. It makes sense that we study this world. You don't see any, announce any announcement today, but uh, it could come in the months to come. Very exciting. I'm sure there'll be things in the future and, and those platforms. Um, okay, second question. Um, do you have any plan helping users transition from one generation of watch to the next? Good question. So customer experience is extremely important for us. Uh, and we know we invest a lot on durability on our watches. And when you buy a Tag Heuer Connected, it will last for several years. We still have today people wearing the Connected watch we launched in 2015. Few thousand people uh, that are still wearing it daily. Uh, and of course, the, the next generations uh, as well. Uh, however, eventually, I mean, the promise is not the same as a mechanical watch that lasts decades. It lasts longer than the competition um, due to our uh, luxury watch uh, positioning. But eventually, uh, some uh, better performing technology will come on the market. And we want our customers who love our experience to benefit also from these uh, new technologies that are coming. So we are launching today a trade-in program where uh, our customers can come in with the generation they have. Uh, we will uh, take in charge the full recycling of the watch and uh, we'll give uh, uh, preferential access to the, uh, the latest generation that we launched. Fantastic, that's really, really exciting. A regenerative uh, with purpose uh, around this launch. Well, that is about all we have time for. But, um, so we're gonna say goodbye to our digital friends out there. Um, and uh, just again, thank you, Frederic, for the launch. Thanks to the, to the digital team. Um, ladies and gentlemen here in the studio, uh, I advise you, you can come and join us for coffee and to discover the watch after all this. Thank you so much. It's been great being here. Thank you, Frederic.